Hey, welcome back to Divinity Dragon Commander, and welcome back to my voice. If you haven't been watching the past couple videos, I'm back on mic, and uh, let's get into this. Last time we left off, uh, things are not great on the battlefield, but we're getting the pol we're good at the politics. Um, looks like Edward wants to talk to us, so or Ed Edwin. When Catherine is out of sorts, Edward. there seems to be no escaping her ire, Commander. I do understand her, though. For whilst equality among the civilized races is not to be found, I do uphold that women are every bit as capable as men, provided they are lizards. God damn. Why oh, you still gotta be a jerk, even when you're, like, trying not to be. Typical of Catherine to get miffed over money. I don't care what they pay me as long as I get to brawl and boo. Uh, okay, so we're about to deal with a issue of pay so this will be interesting what's henry have to say about it yikes what a vixen can't dear old kathy be happy with the wages she gets not like she has to cook or clean listen here commander for i have a matter of great import that i should like to bring to your attention in the realm i ruled that rule was absolute as was that of my vassals, women all, of course. We concerned ourselves with matters of mastery and the mind. Men with all things menial, according to the natural order. On this ship, however, I find myself trapped amid so many cocks of the walk, the one more swollen with self-importance than the next, only to discover these pompous windbags actually earn more wages than Scarlet Prospera or I do. If anyone, it is we of the superior sex who should sooner receive more silver and gold than those of the savage variety. You'll set right this iniquity, Commander, and you'll do it now. I had no idea the men and women on my ship received different salaries. You can calm down. I'll fix this immediately. Good. So you should. And I hope this is the last of such nonsense I've had to deal with. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Where's the juggernaut? Ooh, it's expensive. So, so far, nothing I can actually do about it, so, okay.
I'm fine with. I'm actually fine with losing because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just rebuild from my army from the start at this point. Because I honestly don't care about how it's going. I'm kind of done with it. With the way that I've been managing it. And we're going to kind of just reset ourselves here. I will try to win some battles, but I'm, I'm, I'm focused on the capital and just building the army there. And then I will spread out once I've built a large enough army. Because right now, it's just... It's too much of a hassle to do it the way I'm currently doing it. And, yeah. Oh, I forgot to lower the difficulty. I meant to lower the difficulty before I... Got into a battle. Fuck. Well, here we go. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I meant to... Oh, no. Nope, it is casual. Okay, so it is lowered. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see if that's enough to help me out. You found me, did you? We might actually be able to hold this one. Oh yeah, we got this one. Hell yeah. We've been needing a victory for a minute. This has been... This will increase the morale a bit. We've been needing this. Hell yeah. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> kind of just flooded them with hunters and then from there I was able to just go boop. dragon mode kick butt all right that's what we needed the revel revelon times wartime edition total casualties of war 15704 current uh, emperor's political popularity uh, popularity among dwarves 
is 45%, Amongst Elves is 50%, Lizards is 60%, Imps is 55%, and Undead is at 50 uh, Men and women, to have equal wages, hope they get a concussion slamming through glass ceiling, shouts Sir Silvervane. Emperor's motives disputed, search for self-enrichment on it or on intellectual or financial level, we have the quotes. Torn between man and dragon. Yeah, we got sabotage out of that. Thanks to helping Catherine and Scarlet's wages go up. Scarlet has increased a level in patience. In patient. Catherine has gained a level in light unit specialist. All right. And as you know, I'm kind of doing these as turn order, but I think... We're gonna play a little longer now. Now that I'm back on, with uh, on Mike again. So let's go ahead and go to the throne room because it seems we have some business there. Commander, the war is displacing a great many people, and thus the influx of a great many foreigners into the realm is inevitable. Many of them are driven to crime by want or ill will. To that effect, I propose. But if a foreigner is found guilty of an offense, he or she should be deported immediately. Delinquency is on the rise, and we need a few effective deterrents to curb its proliferation. Well, the dwarves are gonna hate us even more. That popularity is about to drop to 40%. What about you, York? What do you say? Foreign criminals seem to abound like sand on the beach these days, Commander. Let's be rid of them, like Falstaff suggests. In fact, the sea would be as good a border as any to make them cross. Yes, let them drown for their misdeeds. Yeah, something told me York would be all about this, and even more so than than Falstaff. Uh, then, yeah. So, let's talk to Oberon. Many criminals inhabit our realm, Commander. Such is the unpleasant reality. Some of them are domestic, some of them are foreign. Punish them when they are caught, but do not make the distinction. Okay, so he's he's against this, the deportation of foreign criminals. Prospero? Oberon and I are of the same mind in this matter, Commander. Deportation just seems a bit excessive. And I very much doubt it's the structural solution Sir Silvervane hopes it to be. Yeah. And Tranquilo. Usually, Tranquilo and Prospera and Oberon are pretty close to similar mindsets. So, let's see. No, 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 Commander. Falstaff has it all wrong. We imps force foreign convicts to do all sorts of dirty and dangerous jobs. Why deport when we can make him drudge? I didn't say that he ever has it for the right reasons, but he does usually agree with Prospera and Oberon, even if his reasons are... Eh compared to theirs um but yeah we are not gonna pass this law leniency leads to lawlessness commander i had hoped you'd spare your populace from such nuisances as pickpockets and highwaymen to no avail it seems hey dummy those will happen anyways continue to be soft of heart commander and you'll soon find it pierced by a common interloper out for what coin he can find by refusing to set any examples you're allowing godless foreigners to pillage and murder amongst us don't you realize it's a crime to tolerate crime don't you realize that being a foreigner is not a crime you dumb fuck wise of you commander i find no fault in full staff's objective only in his method yeah there are other ways to fight crime ones that do not include stigmatization yep i'm glad you gave the matter some further consideration commander a foreign maid of mine was once caught stealing a silver candlestick but she does such a good job otherwise i'd rather have her back than see her deported right you are commander let strangers do dodgy chores and no one will ask any questions if anything goes awry. Once again, not the the right reasons there, short fuse, but whoop. Mm -hmm. Anything going on with you four? We gained and we lost today, Commander. Such is the nature of war. Okay, the answer is no on that. Oh, okay. And then I know we gotta do an upgrade here. 
Do we not have enough? It shows we have the points. Why can't I get anything? Oh, I need to go further in the story. Okay, so for now, we're just doing these upgrades. I think we have to get to Act 2. All right, well, let's do another battle, I guess. And what do we got on the cards? So we still got the enemies. Hunter range will decrease with 75%. And we got troopers in a selected country won't be able to move this round. Uh huh. that might be a good... That might be a good choice. I'm not worried about them trying to conquer here, more so here. So we'll, first off, do this. Transport, go back out, because you got to go back to there to pick them up again. And we'll play the sabotage card on them so they can't move. And then we'll buy some more units. We got a trooper, a grenadier and a hunter so far. So let's get a shaman. Oh, we can't afford that yet. We only got three. Okay. So, no buying new troops yet. Okay. I'm expecting... Since they won't be able to hit here... Or they probably won't choose to, I should say. Uh, since they're probably not going to choose to hit my capital... They're going to go here, um, so they need to go, which they have the transport for it, so they'll probably try to t take, they'll just take the gold mine here, um, unfortunately. I didn't even think of the fact that the gold mine's right there. Yep. All right, yeah, so we're getting this battle. I expected they would still move their Grenadier there, but we're going to win that because we have all these people here. We got an armor, we got a trooper, we got a hunter. Yeah, so the, they made a bad choice going here with just the Grenadier. Um, probably don't even have to actually do the... Yeah, look at that. 98... Yeah, no matter who I send, it's 98%. Um, it's 97 without anybody. So we'll just do without anybody. Because then I also don't have to pay anybody to be there. So let's do that. Bam. Done. Revlon Times. Wartime Edition. Total casualties of war, 16,304. Emperor's politi uh, political popularity among dwarves is 40%. We called that. Elves, 55%. Lizards, 65%. Imps, 60%. Undead, 45%. Yeah, that's going to drop, too, because we've been making the undead angry, too. Emperor refuses tough stance on crime. Citizens, victim of lackluster politics. Emperor victorious as slow news day grips Revlon. Beaten to the punch. Opposition clads, new type of vehicle and armor. Imperial troops shaking in fear. Imp Researcher explains how minesweeping works. All you need is flags, really. Oh, we got some we got some trouble, huh? Some more trouble in paradise. So Uberon is putting his nuptial spark on the agenda, is he? Oh no. When will those blasted elves realize marriage is about procreation, no pleasure or passion? Can't these queers be happy with what they have? Used to shoot them on sight barely a century. <sighs> oh, Falstaff, why? Why you have to be the worst? Okay, well, I already know we're about to have to do that vote, and uh, dwarves are going to go down to 35%. Commander, I 
intend to propose legislation later today that will make it possible for gay couples to be married. I know I'll get some pretty stiff opposition from Falstaff and especially Yorick, so I'm hoping I can count on your support. Sir Falstaff raises some proper concerns about family values and the likes, but that holier-than-thou collection of bones will prattle on and on about gods and such nonsense. Nothing we can't handle. Seven wither Oberon's tongue for uttering such perversions. He and his depraved ilk would allow men and women to fornicate with others of their own gender. How base, how vile can one become? God save us from this debauchery. Yeah, I'm not going to be taking your side, you dumb fuck. Commander, could you spare me a moment? Now, I know I'm a general, and politics isn't my field of expertise, but I was hoping you'd support Oberon in his attempts to allow marriage for people of the same sex. It's a pet peeve of mine, you see. Live and let live, I say. Why do others get to decide who someone may or may not love? None of their bloody beeswax. So much hypocrisy will be exposed for what it is, you know. Think of the famed lizard artist Della Gecko, for instance. Everybody knows he's gay, but he was forced to marry a duke's daughter. Two lives made miserable because of senseless so-called moral objections. The whole business is unconscionable if you stop and think about it. I suppose it is. All right, you've convinced me. I'll side with Oberon. I was already going to, but uh, yeah. Thanks, Commander. If you're a doll, I'd give you a kiss that'd blow your jetpack off if you weren't off limits. <laughs> what a glorious battle you fought! All right. You fight with cunning, Commander, and you lead by example. Okay. All right. I think we'll have time for one more battle, depending how long that takes us. Oh, wait. Hold on. Go back. Engineering Bay. Need to get our upgrades. Actually, I don't think we can afford any. Yeah, can't afford any. Okay. Let's go back then to the bridge for a battle. Let us save just in case. All right. What all? We still have the hunter's range. We'll decrease one. Okay. Shaman here. That's all we can afford for now. Like I said, we're just going to build up. And basically, I'm going to try to always have double the troops at the capital. And I'm going to basically just move them out from there. And kind of expand that way. Gonna try to take here. Or not. Oh, wait, here we go. Nope. Oh, they're building up too. Fuck. Okay. Rebel on times. Wartime edition. Total casualties of war, sixteen thousand three hundred four. Emperor's political popularity among dwarves, thirty five percent, yep. Elves, 60%. Lizard, 65%. Imps, 60%. Undead, 40 Yeah. This is, this is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting this kind of pushback. Uh, we're not going to do well with the dwarves and undead. Um, mainly because undead tend to be the most holier-than-thou assholes, and dwarves tend to just be dwarves. They're, they're just assholes. Uh... General tries to influence policy. We're headed for a military dictatorship if this continues, says angry Sir Silvervane. You're the one trying to... Oh. Because Scarlet. Got it. 
The dragon takes a breather. Scorching picks inside. Emperor pregnant? Your general's actions have influenced the empire. Zeppelins unleashed. You can produce zeppelins during one combat round. Oh, so free zeppelins. Nice. This might be of interest, Commander. Limperist. The enemy's grenadiers will fire 75% slower. All right, and we still have time, so let's go ahead and interact with these fuckers and then go to the throne room. So, you're backing the fairies, are you? Both the elves and the other kind. Thin end of the wedge, if you ask me, Commander. They'll be marrying goats next. Bro, if... If I could, you would get smacked so goddamn hard. And as a as somebody who is half dragon, you don't want that. Gay marriage is a reality. You've written history, Commander. Long have we elves fought for what we think is an example of basic equality. But never has a monarch given us his public support. Bravo. All right, what law is trying to be passed now? Every citizen in the realm pays taxes. Every industry does the same. But which is the one institution that escapes the tax man? Why, the church, of course. Hardly fair, is it? So why not introduce a temple tax? Let every temple, church, and cathedral pay, say, a monthly fee as a token of goodwill toward the Empire. After all, does not the church benefit too from a strong and wealthy state? You know, Falstaff, you've actually introduced legislation I like for once. <laughs> uh, but, of course, I'm going to take the vote around because I, while am emperor, have kind of made an unofficial democracy of the laws that we pass so i already know york's going to be against it um so we're going to take guesses before we go around the room i think Tranquilo will be for it only because that's more money that's going back to like creating inventions oberon i'm not sure prosper i see being for it um I don't know her reasoning, but I, I, I see her being for it. Oberon is the mystery one on this one, because I can see him flowing either way on that. Uh, York is absolutely against it, because how dare you try to take money from the gods, because it's York. So let, let, let's go around the room, though, and see. When will that filthy dwarf finally pass a single day without resorting to sacrilege, base and vile? The Church of the Seven is holy, above such secular concerns as taxes. If you want yet more gold for the royal coffers, you had better look elsewhere, Commander. Well... Introduce this new tax, Commander, and the church will just demand more of the public in donations. So in the end, who will really pay? The man in the street. And they give more than their share already. Really? So he's against it, but for, for legitimate concern, because, of course, the church will knock that money from... The regular people so okay that's a that's a fair argument actually everyone uh and of course we know you're commander every set yeah we already know you're for it because you introduced it prospero the church of the seven is one of the wealthiest organizations in rivlon commander and it's true they don't depart as much as tuppence to the treasury so first off it's right hardly fair all right so we got two four two against tranquilo you are the deciding vote and if i'm correct we are going to pass this because I think he's going to be for it. Because once again, I think he's going to see it as more money for us to invent things. Temple tax. What a marvelous idea. Take from the seven and give it to Sion. Falstaff's got it. I got it. I was right. Okay, so we're going to pass this. I do partially agree with Oberon's reason for being against it. But at the end of the day, as a emperor who has imposed a democracy within his empire... The democracy says we we pass it. Marvelous! Oh yes, excellent! I will take care of everything, Commander. A sacred river of gold will start flowing in before you know it. All right, let's see what's up at the bar. Seven save us from the dragon, for where he goes, vice sprouts like infectious corruption. 
emanates like a poisonous contagion. Ghouls coveting not women as they should. Hags longing for anything but the male touch. Abhorrent is the hell you stage. Oh, we're getting the repercussions of that. Actually, let's go back to the throne room because I forgot to talk to everybody post-vote, which is what I normally do. I am baffled beyond belief. The profanity here enacted is enough to anger the mildest of the gods. In fact, I'm much surprised a lightning bolt from the heavens hasn't yet torn the raven asunder. When the dwarves come along with one of their schemes, everyone goes colorblind, it seems. They see only gold and care for gold only. The greater good forgotten splendid i'm certain any clergyman worth his salt will gladly part with some of his worldly means if doing so bodes well for the empire wouldn't you agree dear yorick <laughs> prosper just adding that little salt to the wound spot on commander spot on tax him to kingdom come you'll be doing him a favor okay of course we want to talk to scarlet Thanks again for passing that new marriage law, Commander. There are these two lizard girls I know, and they tied the knot the moment the news broke. What a feast we had! I don't remember any of it. <laughs> Come. Come. Commander. Easy does it, Commander. We're getting to. Okay. Yes, Commander. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's do some up. Uh, do a upgrade. Because that's what we can afford. And then we are past time. So next time we'll go into the next fight. But for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you really like our content, check out the Patreon, which is linked down below, where you can watch our content about three months before uh, it goes live uh, currently. And uh, also check out our Discord link down below, where you can become a part of our community and come hang out with us. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye.